Let's work on the lesson, convert time units. It says balance the equation below. So I know in an equation, both sides need to be equal. So here it says four days is equal to how many hours? Well, I know if one day has 24 hours, four days would have 24 times four because we would need to do 24 four times. So four times four is 16. Four times two is eight plus our one more is nine. So four days is equal to 96 hours. Here we have 78 hours is equal to how many days and how many hours. So I could look at 78 and think, how many times would 24 fit into 78? Because I know that if I divide 78 by 24, then I will get how many days are in 78 and then we'll find out how many are left over. So let's see, 24 once is 24, 24 twice is 48, 24 three times is 72. Oh, that's pretty close. So let's try that. 24 three times, 24 times three is 72. And then we subtract eight minus two is six. And then seven minus seven is zero. Well, I know that 24 can't fit into six. So we are done with that. We have three, which in this case would be three days. And then everything we have left over are the hours we have left over. So, and six hours three days and six hours. Next we have 389 minutes is equal to how many hours and how many minutes? Well, how many minutes are in an hour? Yeah, 60. So if there's 60 minutes in an hour, we need to divide 389 by 60. So if we have 389 divided by 60, whatever we have left over as our remainder will be how many minutes are left over that wouldn't fit into those hours. So 60 will not fit into 38, so we need to do 60 will go into 389. Let's see how many times. We could count by six instead of counting by 60 and then we should be able to find what is close to that. So if we have six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, oh, we went too high. So it was 36 and that was six times. So six times six is 36. So six times 60 would be 360. So 60, six times would be 360. Nine minus zero is nine. Eight minus six is two. And then three minus three is zero. So there were 29 minutes left over. So that was six hours and 29 minutes. Here we have how many minutes is equal to three half hours. So if each half hour is half of 60, so 30 minutes, so 30 minutes three times because it's three half hours. Three times zero is zero, three times three is nine. So 90 minutes is three half hours. Here we have four years and seven months is equal to how many months? Well, let's work on this part first. How many months are in a year? Yeah, 12. So here for, for four years, we would have 12 times four, which would be eight and four, so 48 months, but then plus these seven extra. So 40, 48 plus seven is equal to 55. So that would be 55 months.
Here we have 302 seconds is equal to how many minutes and how many seconds? Well, I know that there are 60 seconds in a minute, so I could take 302 and divide it by 60. So 60 won't go into 30, but 60 will go into 302. Let's see how many times. If I think, okay, 60 will go into 302. Let's count by 60s. 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, oh, 300. So that was five times. So 60 times five is 300. And that makes sense because six times five is 30, so 60 times five would be 300. Then we have two left over. So we said 60 will go into 302 five times, so that would be our five minutes, and how many seconds were left over? Two. So five minutes and two seconds. Good job. All right. It says, how many whole weeks are in a year? Do you know how many weeks are in a year? Yeah, there are 52 weeks in a year. So our answer would be 52. How many days are in a week? Well, let's count our days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven days in a week. How many seconds are in a minute? Do you remember how many we said? Yes, 60 seconds in a minute. How many whole weeks are in a month? Which one looks correct? Do you think there'd be one week in a month? No. Do you think two weeks in a month? No, not quite. Seven is too many. There are four weeks in a month. Wonderful job, friends.